This video is about the curses on Windows, which, in case you didn't already know, isn't very good. Whether it be some textures being from Windows 98 for some reason, or some textures being asymmetrical, I'll be looking at what makes these cursors so bad, and how I could fix them. To begin this rambling, let's start by looking at the cursors given by default. The cursor comes with a lot of different textures, like the pointer, the question mark, the loading, and many more. For the rest of the video, we'll only be focusing on these three textures, the pointer, the hand, and the text beam. This is because the rest are either rarely used or don't have too many problems with them that need fixing. The inspiration for this video actually comes from Posey, who made a video on cursors, which is really good, so if I bring up a lot of similar points, it's because I agree with a lot of what he said in his video. Anyway, onto the redesign, starting with the pointer. So the pointer is pretty standard for the most part, having a little arrow with a tail at the bottom, but it's a little hard to see the shape since it isn't all that visible at such a small size, so let's make it a bit bigger. All right, there we go. So I would like to preface this by saying that the way I got this higher quality image of the pointer was by tracing the default pointer size, which I found in the cursor files, since I couldn't really find a good high quality image of the actual cursor. I think I traced it pretty well and accurately, so I hope you won't mind it as much, but anyway, onto the cursor texture itself. I think it looks okay for the most part, minus a couple of slight annoyances I have with it. For one, if we measure the tail at the end, we could see that it's actually off-center by a bit, which is really annoying once you start noticing it. Another problem is that if you take a look at the line at the bottom of the tail and compare it to the connecting lines at the two points here, it's actually not parallel. So as you can see, this pointer is not very symmetrical. I actually rotated the image so we can get a better look at it, and yeah, it's not great. We think that it looks asymmetrical just because I traced the texture badly. Here's the original screenshot I took, which also looks asymmetrical. The way I fixed this was just by drawing the first half of the pointer, then flipping it to the other side. All I really had to do from there was change the angle back to how it's supposed to look, and there's the fixed pointer. The next curse I think we should look at is the hand, because oh my god, it's terrible. And similar to the pointer at normal size, it's a bit hard to see, so again I traced the file version of the texture, and my god, it looks terrible. It already looks bad at normal size, but the file version is somehow worse. For some reason, the lines between the fingers are double the width of the normal lines, and the texture itself doesn't even look like a good hand. It looks like a hand that you would see in one of those corporate art styles, and that's not good. The lines are either perfectly straight or perfectly round, which looks really unnatural, and the hand just looks terrible all around. Now looking at the older hand texture, while yes it is a bit rough around the edges since it's older, it looks like an actual hand. The hand doesn't use all these perfect shapes, it's stylish, the size could be a bit smaller, but for the most part, I think it's pretty good. So when redesigning the hand, I decided to base it off of the old hand texture. I changed a couple of things, most notably the bottom part is now more rounder compared to the straight line and the old hand, which I think looks pretty nice. I was originally thinking of making it look like a cartoon glove similar to what Mac did, but I didn't really want to copy Mac too much, so I'll just stick with the design that I currently have. Now on to the text beam, and oh boy, it's really bad. The text beam looks like a clump of pixels that don't mesh well together at all. Another problem with the text beam is that it uses inverted colors which can be really hard to see, especially on a grey background. The way I'd fix this is to round off the little indents here and change it to make it look a little more refined. I would also change the colors from inverted colors to black with white outlines. The reason I picked this over white with black outlines is because white with black doesn't really look good. Now you're probably calling me a hypocrite, saying something about how I'm against copying Mac for using the hand, but now I'm using the Chrome OS text beam for this design. And to that I say, yeah you're right, I pretty much just copied the Chrome OS texture, but let me just define my decision. For a hand, you can add much more details to it compared to a beam. You can have a stylized hand, or a cartoon glove, or even a hand that's a disgrace to all other hands, but what can you really do with a beam? Plus, the Mac and Chrome beams are practically the same, except that Mac has this little line in the middle, while Chrome doesn't, and yet you don't hear people saying that Mac and Chrome are copying each other. And even after that very logical reason for me keeping the text beam similar to the Chrome OS text beam, you still think that I'm a hypocrite, then you better keep your eyes peeled. Oh boy, this is going to be really confusing to talk about. One thing I had trouble with in this section was describing the mess of a settings menu. So just bear with me on this one, it might be a bit confusing, but I tried the best that I can when it came to describing what I wanted to say. In the Windows settings, you got four different cursor settings. The default, black, inverted, and the custom cursor. 
The black cursor is pretty self-explanatory, it's just a black version of the default cursor, or at least it should be, but we'll get into that later. The inverted cursor just inverts the color, similar to the text beam, except that the inverted has a black outline around it, I assume to make it more visible, and the custom cursor just allows the user to customize the color. This is all fine and good, it allows the user to customize the cursors that they like, whether it be the black, inverted, or even a custom cursor. Why should we stick with a bland default? Well, maybe that's actually for good reason. You see, actually setting your cursors to one of these cursors besides the default leads to... Well... Now to those of you who might not have the best vision, or just don't really notice things very well, this may look fine, I mean, it's just a black version of the white cursor, right? Wrong. The black cursor seems to take on a slightly different shape. After tracing the shape for the black pointer and comparing it to the default pointer, it's definitely different. Take a look at the other textures like the hand and the text beam. Those also look different. The hand takes on the old texture while the beam isn't inverted, instead being black with white outlines. This is quite odd if you ask me. If you look at the textures of the Windows 98 cursor, it seems to bear an odd resemblance to the black cursor in Windows 10. Even looking at the hand, the old hand texture is also seen in Windows 98. Let's look deeper into this. The inverted texture also seems to use the same Windows 98 texture. This only applies to the pointer, however, as taking a look at the hand, it seems to be the same as the default hand, except it's inverted as well as now it's very low quality for some reason. You'd probably assume that the text beam texture is also the same as the default since they're both inverted, but nope. The text beam texture in the inverted cursor seems to have a black outline around it. I guess it's better than no outline. Uh, moving on. The custom cursor at first glance may look like it shares the same shape as the default cursor, but looking very closely, you can actually see that the custom cursor is actually slightly different. The outline just looks slightly thicker for the pointer in the hand, and the text beam... Oh, don't even get me started on the text beam. You thought the default text beam was bad with its hard to see colors and pixelated shape? Well, meet the custom text beam. Instead of using inverted colors like the default cursor, the custom text beam instead opts to use a select color as well as a black outline around it. Not to mention that it still retains the same shape as the default cursor for some reason. In my opinion, this looks terrible on a small screen. The colors blend poorly together until you get this ugly looking mess of pixels. Are you not seeing the problem here? You would expect an operating system as big as Windows to not have some silly inconsistencies that would be easily fixed, right? My theory for the black and inverted cursor is that they were originally from Windows 98 or some other similar version. But when they changed the texture for the default cursor, they forgot to change it for the black and inverted cursor, which is why they still look like they're from Windows 98. As for the custom cursor, my theory is that they added it after the default cursor on Windows 10, which is why it looks newer and slightly more refined compared to the default cursor. But honestly, I feel like this should have been fixed by now. But if you thought we were done, oh no. We still gotta talk about the scaling inconsistencies. Now, if you've been paying attention instead of playing Minecraft while the video runs in the background, you may have noticed the slider to change the size of the pointer. And as you probably already guessed, this also has some problems. For some reason, when you change the size to anything bigger than the default size, the texture changes from whatever the original cursor shape was to a bigger version of the custom cursor. While this may not be noticeable for the default cursor since the default and custom cursor are very similar, it's very noticeable in the black and inverted cursor. The shape of the cursor magically changes from this Windows 98 style cursor to the more modern shape of the custom cursor. This not only changes the pointer to the custom cursor texture, but also the hand and text beam. And when the size is big enough, you really get a feel for how bad the text beam texture is. Yikes. It seems like there isn't any consistency in anything. You would expect something like this to be fixed by now, but it's not. So I guess I'm just left with no choice. I think, I think it's time for me to fix the cursor myself. I already talked about how it fixed the default cursor, so we could just use my fixed cursor as the default cursor instead of the bad, ugly looking default cursors. So from now on when I refer to the default cursors, I'm just talking about my fixed cursors. In the normal settings, we'll just keep the black, inverted, and custom cursor as well as a couple of adjustments. What we'll do is we'll just apply the default cursor text to all of them rather than each of them having different textures. So now we have a black version of our cursor, an inverted version, and one that you can change color. Textures like the hand and text beam aren't going to change colors from black to inverted since I don't think it would look very good if they did change color. As for the custom cursor, I think it would be nice to let the user pick what color they wanted for both the outline and the inside. It would make the cursor more customizable in my opinion. And to add even more to the customizability, let's allow the user to change the color of the hand and text beam separate from the normal pointer, as well as a checkbox for each individual texture to make them inverted if they wanted to do it. Here's a mock of what the custom cursor settings might look like. As for the scaling, we can just make it so that this is a bigger version of the cursor we already have, it's pretty much as simple as that. 
One feature that I think would be great to add is adding your own custom cursor. There could be a menu at the bottom that allows for customized cursor where it opens up the file explorer menu and you can select different images, one for each texture like a pointer, hand, text beam, and all the other cursors. Windows already has a way to add the custom cursors, but the way you do it is inconvenient and annoying to use, so this will make it much more easier to do in my opinion. And now we've done it, we fixed the cursors, the cursor settings, and even added a little extra feature on top. Even though Windows 10 is 2 years from having the plug pulled on it, I think adding all these features to Windows 11 would make things better, especially considering the current state of Windows 11. So what do you think? Do you think we should keep the old cursor textures because it's funny, or should we switch to the new cursors that I proposed? Apparently there's this new YouTube feature where, depending on what you say, it highlights a different button. I've only seen it happen a few times, so I'm just going to test it out to see if it works on this video. So if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe, please hit the subscribe button as it would be greatly appreciated. Okay, D did the subscribe button get highlighted? Okay, L let's try it with another one. Make sure to hit the like button. Like button. Okay, did that work? I, I, I don't know, I'm gonna find out for myself. And wait, hold on, I'm, I'm getting some info on something. R Roblox? What does that have to do with this? Um, okay, hold on, uh, Roblox cursors. Uh, I don't really know what that means. I guess I'll look it up. Wait. I'm confused. Uh, it's, it's, just it's just an ordinary cursor. Oh my goodness! Nope, I'm done. See, See ya, chumps. chumps.